part of the video the alien planet the green movement's role part 2 dear friends dear students and my dear viewers in this video in this part i'm going to read out from para 6 to para 10 and i'm going to explain and give you the word meanings right one of the early environmental commissions which dealt inter alia with the question of ecology and environment was Branched Commission, which had a distinguished Indian as one of its members, Mr. L.K. Cha. The first bank report raised the question, are we to leave our successor a scorched planet of advancing deserts, impoverished landscapes and ailing environment? So dear students, in this paragraph you see, it is the concern of the Brandt Commission, which was one of the earliest commissions which tried to look after the environmental conditions, environmental situation of the earth. And one of the greatest Indians, Mr. L.K. Jha, was one of the members in this commission. Right. And he, gave, he raised the questions, are we to leave our successors a scorch? Scorch means burnt, right, where it is very hot and the temperature is very high. Scorched planet of advancing deserts after this scorched planet you know this various parts of the world will become desert so that's not going to be good idea for the next generations right now dear students here the word meanings interalia means among other things ecology ecology is the relation of plant and living creatures to each other and to their environment the study of this is also called ecology Brandt Commission, it is an independent commission first chaired by Willy Brandt in 1980. The report of this commission is known as Brandt Report. The commission reviewed international issues, mainly environmental issues, right? Scorched. Scorched means burnt or dry. Impoverished. Impoverished means very poor and ailing. Ailing means sick, right? You see, the name of the chapter is also the ailing planet. The ailing planet means the sick planet, right? So we come to the next paragraph, paragraph number seven. Mr. Lester Brown's observation. I can give the title, Mr. Lester Brown's observation, right? Mr. Lester Brown, in his thoughtful book, The Global Economic Prospect, points out that the Earth's principal biological systems are four. Fisheries, forest, grasslands, and croplands. And they form the foundation of the global economic system. In addition to supplying our food, these four systems provide virtually all the raw materials for industry, except minerals and petroleum derived synthetics. So dear students, you see Mr. Lester Brown, he was one of the greatest environmental analysts who gave this idea and his book the global economic prospect is very renowned in this field, in this matter, right? And he told that fisheries, forest, grassland and cropland, these are the main areas or main parts of this natural environment which we need to protect very, very much, right? In large areas of the world, human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level a point where their productivity is being impaired. So these areas, the productivity is losing, the fisheries are losing the productivity, forests are uh, depleting, grasslands are decreasing, croplands are dying, all these things are happening. So we need to address this situation. Right. When this happens, fisheries collapse, forests disappear, grasslands are converted into barren westlands and croplands deteriorate. In a protein-conscious and protein-hungry world, overfishing is common every day, right? So, dear students, when this kind of things happen, the fisheries, it collapse, and then the forests disappear, the grasslands are converted into barren westlands, and croplands also starts deteriorating. And the people, those who are hungry for animal protein, especially the fish which we catch, uh, from the water bodies like rivers, oceans, sea, ponds, lakes, reservoir. So we are using too much of proteins, right? We are decreasing the fisheries. Okay, so 
in poor countries local forests are being decimated in order to procure firewood for cooking in some places firewood has become so expensive that what goes under the pot now cost more than what goes inside it that means firewood is becoming more expensive than the food itself since the tropical forest in the words of dr myers the powerhouse of evolution several species of life face extinction as a result of its destruction its destruction means the destruction of the tropical forest so the tropical forest is the powerhouse of evolution so if we are destroying this tropical forest we are going to suffer the consequence right dear friends we are in the word meanings just check this word meanings right the word meanings you can pause the video and just see the word meanings i'm not going to read it loud because it is going to then increase the uh, size of video i don't want to make it too long just to read it and uh, you can pause the video here and see the word meanings and note it down it will help you right so i come to paragraph number 8 right paragraph 8 the title of this paragraph could be fast eroding tropical forest it has been well said that forest precede mankind desert follow right so the forest came then mankind and then the deserts if we are not taking care of this forest we are going to face the deserts in few years time the world's ancient patrimony patrimony means inheritance something that you get from your fathers and forefathers from your uh, ancestors that is patrimony a uh, tropical forest is now eroding at the rate of 40 to 50 million acre a year and the growing use of dung for burning deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizer right so you see that the patrimony what is a patrimony tropical forest is now decreasing at an alarming rate at a rate of 40 to 50 million acres a year and the growing use of dung which can be very well used for as fertilizer for the soil it is it is actually um mm, it is not chemical right dung is not chemical so it is very good for the soil but we are not using it as fertilizer we are burning it to make fuel the world bank estimates that a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting is needed to cope with expected fuel load demand in the year 2000 right now it is year 2017 now when we are reading this chapter and now the demand is much more so dear friends dear students we need to be very cautious about saving this mother earth right okay uh, now the word meanings are again i'm telling you i'm not going to read out the meanings you can pause the video here and just have a look at the meaning you can write it down and it will help you to prepare your lessons right now paragraph number 9 paragraph number 9 very short see what can be the headache here let me first read the lessons james spet s p e t h spet james spet the president of the world resources institute say the other day we were saying that we are losing the forest at an acre a second but it is much closer to an acre and a half to a second so uh, we can just very short paragraph we can name it the rapid decrease of forest you can see the rapid decrease of forest right now who is this james spet james gustav spet is an american environmental lawyer and advocate okay so we come to the last pair of today's lessons paragraph number 10 we can give the heading here the laws are never respected nor enforced in india it is very unfortunate right article 48a article 48a of the constitution of india provides that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country it belongs to state's duty the duty of the state governments to take care of the nature of the forest but it is very unfortunate that most of the places the forest is decreasing at an alarming rate so the governments of all the states should come forward to do something in order to save our mother earth but what causes endless anguish anguish means severe pain and suffering no 
It is the fact that laws are never respected nor enforced in India. We don't follow the law. We have very good set of laws, but we hardly follow that. For instance, the constitution says that casteism, untouchability, bonded labor shall be abolished. Abolished means finished. Okay, but they flourish shamelessly even after 44 years. For instance, the constitution says that casteism, untouchability, and bonded labor shall be abolished but they flourish shamelessly even after 44 years of the operation of the constitution now when the author wrote that time 44 years now you can add another 17 years with that so even after so many years all these problems have not been abolished from our from our country a recent report of our parliament's estimates committee has highlighted the near catastrophic depletion near catastrophic so catastrophic means disastrous right near almost disastrous near catastrophic depletion depletion means decrease right depletion of india's forest over the last four decades decade means 10 years a set of 10 years a length of 10 years a period of 10 years india according to reliable data is losing its forest at the rate of 3.7 million acre a year. Large areas officially designated as forest land are already virtually treeless. Designated means officially marked or officially said. Hmm, officially designated forests are depleting, decreasing and some at some places they are already treeless. These areas have no trees. Virtually, virtually means almost very nearly treeless. The actual loss of forest is estimated to be about eight times the rate indicated by government statistics. The actual uh, statistics is much more than what we see usually in the government reports. So dear friends, once again, I would like to tell you to pause your video here and just look at the meanings of these words. I've given you the word meanings. It will help you. And I don't want to read it out because it will make the video longer. So I hope that I will meet you in my next video from para 11 to para 18 with question and answers also. That video most likely. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have liked it, please subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Till I meet you again in the next video, I say you goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.